And we are live, and Brandon looks insane because I didn't check the, <laughs> that at all before we went live. Oh, and uh, you know what? Uh, it never it never ends with you with technology. I mean, you started us 15 minutes late. Yeah, you know, I like, started us 15 minutes late. Who's the internet going to believe? It's my fault for being at the grocery store because of lack of communication? <laughs> I was like, you, you, you chose you to go today. <laughs> You're like, we're doing Thursday. And then I'm like, get on, get on the call. You're like, I'm at the grocery store. I'm like, yeah, I can't do anything about that. You know, I had to, I had to get food for the dogs and milk for Eloise because uh, she likes milk with her coffee. You know what screen I did start us on? The like and subscribe screen because it I'm really so helps us maybe come on time. And Brandon will actually not be getting dog food and will show up. <laughs> I did show up. You know I'm what? Right here, I was going right to resize now. and fix your face so it didn't look weird. But, uh, you know, where's, what? where's Sean? Did you kidnap Sean? He, I played with his list over the weekend. Well, that, yeah, but he's not like on YouTube anymore. What did you do to him? Uh, he has been a busy beaver, a beaver of busyness. Everyone likes beavers. There you go. Here, I made your, your head look less weird. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know what? If if you're gonna be all whiny about it, <laughs> how's everybody doing this afternoon? I am. Uh, I have a voice now. I had no voice on Tuesday, by the way. I did the Monday stream, and I I basically bragged that I was the least sick of everybody from the DOG team that went to the tournament. And then uh, I woke up, and I literally could go. <laughs> I was like, God damn it! I shouldn't have talked so much shit. <laughs> so so you so what you're saying is at the team tournament you're going to get everybody else sick now but no uh tom's not even going to the team tournament now because uh, wyatt and danny got covid <laughs> and so now we went what was the source who was patient zero of covid and now we're taking Anna in, to, in tom's place because i was like i don't think our team height is enough i need to make sure we're taller <laughs> So can you guys change the team name of uh, Four Giants and Brad? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was all all the stuff. Some of some of the things is all I'm saying. So Tom's not going. Well, Man, I guess I'm not getting my trophy after all because I messaged Tom on Monday and I'm like, "Hey Tom, can I get my trophy?" <laughs> so we've got some real stuff to to talk about. So because we're gonna we're gonna talk about. One, we have three different first company lists that people put in, <laughs> which makes me fantastically happy uh, because, as we said, we were saying first company might be unplayable, but we're going to fix that list to be playable. Do you have a dumpster fire emoji? Oh, I do. I don't know if I have it on this particular setting, though. Okay. Uh, I want to, to bring it out because it's fantastic. I, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am for it because I do want to tell you that what the first company actually does, I had to go look at it because I couldn't remember it. Extremist level event. Once per it's, battle in your command phase, you can use this ability. <laughs> if you do, until the start of your next command phase, each time a model from your army with the Oath of Moment ability makes an attack that targets your Oath of Moment target, you can reroll the wound as well. So once a battle, you can get full rerolls on one unit. <laughs> yeah, Zach goes, Brad, Brad, Zach, Brad told me first company is the best. It says first. It's obviously the best. <laughs> All right. Let's look at this first company detachment so I can well, roll my eyes. No, we're, we're doing some others first because right. we've got even more ridiculous ones. Uh, the playmaker sent in an Eldar list. And you're like, Brad, what does that have in it? Well, let me tell you. Death Jester, Farseer, three times five Rangers, a Revenant Titan, <laughs> three Shroud Runners, <laughs> three Swimming Hawks, and two Woolwalkers. So, uh, and the note was uh, the Revenant, the Revenant Titan, and the Death Jester are the only things that he really wants to have. So he can change anything how, how, else. How many points is a Revenant Titan? Eleven hundred. <laughs> so, okay. You know, I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't hate it because uh, you have all the trash. You can still play the mission well. So I'm assuming the Revenant Titan like ignores like what four inches of walls. Oh yeah, it's the Titanic. Okay. It's gigantic. It does move fast as shit too. Can you make it minus one to wound with the Farseer? Yes, you can. That's that's the yeah. whole reason the Farseer's on the list. That's that's gross. That's really gross. But I I do think we need some. I miss the I miss Banshees like. I miss banshees like the the flower misses the sun <laughs> <laughs> so, so much. But on this, I actually think he needs some more bounce around, to be honest with you. So I would like to actually, weirdly enough, I want to lose a ranger unit or two. Okay. I'm probably going to lose a ranger and a hawk. And I'm debating, we've got some pew pews on here. But we need somebody to get in the way. We need somebody to score. So... One of the things that I, I do kind of want in here is I was thinking that I want a spider unit because the flamers actually give me the ability to obviously do some overwatch with flamers, but obviously the, the spiders can move faster than anything in the game. So we mm -hmm. can get to wherever we need to go. And I think that two rangers is plenty of forward deployers to get in the way for us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Shroud Runners, I don't know if I want the Shroud Runners in here. We have no real reason for the Shroud Runners. They're decent. Don't get me wrong. I think, I think people are taking Shroud Runners, well, with the, the Incarns, like, oh, you kill them, okay, I'm teleporting where the Shroud Runners are. They're just super fast, and they're pretty cheap for what they do. They're 80 points for three. Yeah, I'm just debating they're it. They're pretty durable. I'll give you that. The, the thing, weirdly enough, I mean, I like this list quite, the, the stuff that goes with this list quite a bit. Warwalkers, Warwalkers are just so good for what they do. Mm -hmm. So, and the points on those, hmm. I'm back and forth, my man. I did like my Wraith Lords over the weekend, but those came with Spirit Series, and that's too much for this list. Yeah. But uh, I think we need, we definitely need a unit of Spiders. Yeah, the, the have, Shroud are Raiders are the... Are you taking a unit of 5, or are you taking a unit of 10? What's that? Are you taking a unit of 5, or a unit of 10? A oh, unit of 5. We don't have points for shit in this list. So, but those, they are... 40 points more than hawks the shroud runners are the are the double bikes Eloise. they're the guy two guys are riding on the bike they're really cool models yeah well one guy's got a a, a big old sniper rifle and the other dude drives why is this so i really like i really hate what my youtube's giving me right now because it looks super weird and i don't like it at all I need everybody to know that. I don't know how to get back to my regular view of YouTube. It makes me sad. And that makes me unhappy. Double mash, double dash Mario Kart. Yeah, where the guys like jump around, you know, like they throw. I know, to be honest with you, they have they fucking like. moves and stuff. Uh, I think we put a unit of Speeders in here. We drop a Ranger. And we put we add a Speeder and we make a Hawk a Spider. I don't Is that have points. I feel like you have leftover points. We have leftover points. I'm just trying to figure out what I want in here, to be honest with you. We have pew pews. I'm trying to figure out if we could get some some uh, lances for less, basically. You know what I mean? So don't you think like lone op would be useful? Yeah, but who am I putting in lone op right now? The way leaper? Yeah. He's a 115, man. Well, Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just expensive as shit. <laughs> I mean, you can do a way leaper for a war rocker, but you already have so limited amount of units here. Oh, Corey's talking shit about you. I mean, who are you going to parody your team? Bro, I was trying to figure out how we would lose a game, and I couldn't figure out a scenario where we could lose any. <laughs> yeah, it was that before or after Tom dropped. <laughs> True story. Uh, Mike, <laughs> Spectres over Shroud Runners, in your opinion? You know what? I could go with that. We could actually not even take a Spider. We could just go with double, double Spectre. T lose a Ranger, lose a Hawk. Or lose a Ranger, lose a Shroud Runner, and get us double Spectre. I think that would be way better. Yeah, because they, they can shoot and then they move. Well, they Is shoot. Auto six? They, yeah, they, auto, they shoot and scoot for free after. Yeah. They can do it out, out of Deep Strike. So I think that's what we do on this. That's pretty solid, and they have the flavor profile still. Don't they have, they? Yeah, they have the well. They have they got to still got to shoot, and so they they get okay. it's a multi shot or a single shot. Okay, but they're damn they're single shots damage three man. It's not you know what I mean it's nothing to fuck around with. 
So it's a big deal in that. So, you know, what? I like it. Is he is he taking this to an event that I'm going to be participating? In? I hope That's so. What I, want to know. I hope that he literally tables you with a Revenant Titan. <laughs> he will never. He will never Titan table me with a Revenant Titan. I don't even know if it has enough shots to table you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is this better or the Astraeus list better? Uh, I just like him playing Tau, so it makes me happy. <laughs> Let's talk about a retaliation Tau. All right. Retaliation Cadre. We got Dark Strider. Cold Star with four fusion with the Star Flare. Uh, Cold Star with double burst, cyclic, and a high output. And Enforcer with four flamers. Two times ten crude party. A ten man unit of Pathfinders. Two units of Stealth Streams. Two units of Fusion Suits. A Ghost Keel. Two Tides. And a unit of Tetras. So, the fusion commander with star flare goes in one of the fusion. The enforcer. Am, am I missing a? I swear to God, like I'm missing a. I feel like you're missing a something. unit here. Let me go back into this. Because the enforcer isn't doing anything. Yeah, that's. So I'm, I'm. I'm assuming I just missed an entire unit of uh, flamers. But to be fair, I did put this up all right i did type this in and of course lost power and I had to redo everything because it saved up to a point and then i only had to sacrifice two babies um yeah i completely just didn't put in <laughs> two units of flamer uh suits let me uh nothing to see here everyone just going to uh peep two times three Flamer suits. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. So we got two sun forges and two star signs. Uh, I still would like to see Uncle Farsight in here. I would like to see Farsight, and I think the Enforcer needs a replace with a Cold Star. You want triple Cold Star? The Enforcer is nice for he's still durable, brother. He is, but flamers want to get close and the enforcer makes that unit move not fast uh yeah but you're dropping down right on top of people man like the if you're putting one of those flamer suits you, you want to be on top of people the 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 suit so, that I really okay, so for retaliation cadre it's plus one strength at 12 plus one at at six six yeah so i guess you're spending the cp strat to get within three inches all the time well the thing is is that you can do double well here's let's talk about what we don't know yet okay because as of right now you can use this the enhancement to the star flare to use any strat twice not a battle tactic okay fire and fade whatever it is now cold monkey devastation kung fu style fire and fade is one cp and it's not a battle tactic also the uh <coughs> there's zero chance that survives you know that right why why because every other army that has that, that, that book was they, literally they, still written when other books were already out it's dead you know it's dead i know it's dead it, because it's, if you have that basically you take a uh, farsight with it so you can do one for zero and then you double it up on the other so I think what's going to happen is they're more likely to redetermine what are actually battle tactics instead of changing that piece of war gear. If that's big, because why I say that's big, because I think a farce, if, if you, if they keep it as that and you use retaliation cadre, you put farsight with a fusion unit and he gets to pop out, devastate something with plus one to wound. Mm -hmm. The fusion suits get full rerolls against vehicles and monsters to wound. And then you just pop back, and then you can use them multiple times. Now, I think that the flamer suits are fairly fucked on that. You know what I mean? They they can fire and fade, but like you're you're wanting to get within six inches and stuff. You know what I mean? Which is going to be danger close with those. <laughs> Watch I out! Almost, I almost think you just don't put the enforcer with the flamer suits. Are the flavor suits just trading pieces? Like kind you of. hope that you hope they're cheap enough so they well, just I mean, die. You basically buff them up. I mean, they get they can get the plus AP and stuff. You know what I mean? Retaliation like, does well, have good strats. But what I'm saying, they do. It's just the the army mechanic is mind boggling to me. Um, I, I feel like you just keep the enforcer by himself. 
Well, possibly because that, that enforcer is probably going to be more expensive than the unit he's attached to. Yeah, I mean, what I want, I really want. I want a cold. I like the cold start with the fusion unit. I want. I really want Barsai with the gold, the fusion unit. I mean, that's he's so cheap for what he does too. He gives you some hand to hand. The plus one of wounds just a big deal, man. You know what I mean? Especially when you're talking about the fact that if you get there, you get that plus strength on him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, you're effectively giving people without an invuln zero save because you'll be AP five. You know what I mean when you get close. But when you get within twelve, you get that plus one strength. How are you getting, so, AP, how are you getting uh, AP five? Uh, they're AP4 the fusion in the first place, am I not? Oh, the fusions, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I, I was like, Farsight doesn't have any AP4 weapons. Oh, not him. I'm talking about the squad with it. You know what I mean? He's just Far buffing to me. I mean, Farsight's a beast. Like, he, there was a hot minute where I was just contemplating putting him solo just for tank shock. Yeah. It, the thing is, is that I think that you need the, I think you need Farsight in here. Mm -hmm. I agree kind of on the Enforcer. I'd rather just have the Flamers as something that just picks up nonsense. I mean, the flavor units are really good in retaliation. You know what I mean? The plus one strength, plus one AP is legit. You know what I mean? So that's a big deal. I want Farsight in here. I don't know if I care. I mean, Dark Strider is always good, but I don't know if he fits in this list as much. I mean, he I, don't can... think you need the, I don't think you need the Pathfinders. No. Probably not, to be honest. I mean, you need people to guide. I would rather have another yeah, unit of Tetris. There's Tetras, there's... You know, well, I, 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 I probably want two units of Tetras, to be perfectly honest with you. So drop the Pathfinders for another squad of Tetras. And then we, I say we do Enforcer for Farsight. Farsight. I would really like to see the Enhancement, the Grenade Racks. That thing is bonkers. Oh, just driving over people? Especially, yeah. if, we're, especially if we put in Farsight on that, because the other guy can bounce back, you know, the... Mm, I do like Star Flare. Why other... not both? You could have both. Yeah. I mean, yes, we have two. We have two commanders at least. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, I, but but you can right as of right. I think also think that might might be nerfed. But if we're saying we don't know what's nerfed, right now the the strat says every time, or sorry, the equipment says every time you move over somebody, uh, you get chances to do mortals as a as a normal move as a normal move, and all of these moves. Uh, including fire and fade are normal moves yeah but you're spending two cp to do that to do 18 d6 mortal wound or 18 mortal wounds on a four plus it's not that much like it no but LR, i'm saying but you're, does but you're already doing it i'm more. saying you move over something and then you move back after you fire and fade that's all i'm doing i'm spending either two or z or, or one cp because if he negates it you know what i mean well, you do, you, you move them initially, and then you <laughs> jump over the unit, you do fire fade for one, and you could also toss a grenade before your shooting phase. True. So you could do three so activations. So you, you're either looking a, at two or three CP, depending uh, if he makes it zero. Yeah. Uh, retaliation doesn't just have to uncle oh, bunker strike. No, the, the, the fire and fade is one CP, Brad. So it's a two CP. That's setup. what I'm saying. But I'm saying it, fire and fade is one CP. I'm saying if fire strike can zero it, we don't know. Yeah. Because it doesn't, as of right now, it does. Uh, retaliation, I think, uses spams fire and fade like it's his job. Uh, I think two units a turn fire and fade, and that's how retaliation plays. Uh, you still need things to, to block and stuff like that. So I do like two times 10 crew party a lot. I think we, we do smash the Pathfinders. Uh, stealth teams are also amazing for that because they can buff on the moan because they're already uh, rerolling ones. <clears throat> Sorry, rerolling ones and rerolling ones. Well, ones to hit, ones to wound innately. I don't know if the ghost keel makes sense in this army because we're doing a lot of shuffling and moving. He does have lone op though. So, having played at Adepticon with some of the objectives just being wide out in the open and play, being played on player place terrain where more objectives are just wide out in the open, having that lone op is very strong. I can see that it's just we it's just you, you're so aggressive in this and you're bouncing back and forth it's really big on fire and fade i mean you have to schedule your your cp in this list to double fire and fade it's just it's it's a must because your guns are so short and i think you're doing it on the fusions i almost want a, another fusion suit to be perfectly honest with you i really like them uh this, i mean they're the best out of the three choices <laughs> The flamer suits are really nice, but uh, that's the that's the only thing I would debate on taking the ghost keel out and just putting another fusion suit in. Then I had some points left over. 
I and, we, and we and we still don't know what the final points are. So some of the stuff True might story. be cheaper, might be more expensive. 100%. We might actually I don't, have I don't, more I don't stuff. Know how, I don't know how this list was built. Like if they're assuming True story. everything's super cheap. So we're <clears throat> we're gonna go on this, but I, I think that for sure we need Farsight in here. And I agree on that, Brandon, that we need <clears throat> excuse me. Uh another unit on that. So we take Enforcer Boy out, we put a far side in. I still don't want another unit of fusions. We need another Tetra in here. We already talked about that. Yeah, drop the path. Like Dark Strider just hanging out by himself is fine. Like if there's a lot of indirect, you just put him in strategic reserve and he can walk on later. If there is no indirect, he will never die. <laughs> How would you fix custodes? We're gonna do that later today, Amanda Monday. We're we've got a custodes list. After I said uh Mav put in a bananas list, we're gonna do that in two. That's two lists from now. We're going to talk uh, about the bananas. I'm still waiting for you to apologize to me, Brad, because you said, oh, orcs and custodes aren't coming out before uh, we have, We don't we know are. that. Here we, we are, We don't Brad. know that. They're coming out this weekend. All I'm cool. saying is <laughs> Pittsburgh, you know, you're already wrong. Pittsburgh, Dom is using the new Tau book at his tournament, so screw you. <laughs> He's the only event. <laughs> All right, next list. Corbulu's company, baby. BA First Company Task Force. <laughs> Corbulu, duh. Two Sanguinary Priests. Three Sanguinary Priests with Jump Pack. A Land Raider Redeemer. I think it might be two Land Raider Redeemers, actually. Three, ten, five Scouts. Three units of 10 Stern Guard. Three, three 10 man units of Van Vets. This army broke my soul. This is so crazy. Mathematically, there's probably another land raider. You should probably check. No, I'm looking at it right now. I'm 100%. Dude, these, these, it's 630 points of Stern Guard or a vet, Vanguard Vets in 540 points of Stern Guard. That's a lot. This is, this is bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. I mean, first company is rough, bro, also. So, so I was thinking about first company. What are your, I feel like that what are your limits on it too? So first company, I think you have to do it in Death Watch because <laughs> they all count as like Vanguard and Sturgard now. Well, oh, man, just man. I mean, KR is a good point. Is it really first company if there's no Terminators? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> don't all the strats pretty much only benefit terminators? yeah they're like they're terminating their teleports and stuff like that who is corduroy <laughs> a, a guy who is a to go to legends <laughs> oh man the uh you know i'm just gonna say this is a thing of beauty and we just move on <laughs> man i i appreciate the theme moving on next list now, you know what we should do is we should make the Stern Guard something else. It's basically three Sanguinary Priests go in the three units of Vanguard Vets. And I actually like that for what it is. But the Vanguard Vets could just be idiots with jump packs. You know what I mean? Hold on. Time out. Vanguard Veterans are legends, no? Don't they have to have jump packs? Yeah. So those are ones with jump packs, correct? Yeah. The Vanguard okay. Vets are jump packs. So the three Sang Priests go with the jump the Van Vats. Okay. I mean, can we just make these assault? We can just get more guys. I mean, there are 60 bodies in there, and they all have Feel No Pain. Yeah. I mean, at this point in time, don't I just take the Stern Guard and make them something different, though? We keep the Van Vats and just go in. Everybody has a 5 plus Feel No Pain and plus 1 AP. Still bad, though. <laughs> Ken, I love this super chat for that. You're, you're a G, brother. I, I love everything about that. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I love when he comes all right, in. All right. Actually, Still time out. Time out. Brad, if your team doesn't win the team tournament this weekend, I think you should have to play this at the next tournament you go to. Uh, only if I, I get to fix it right now. I, how, how are you going to fix it? Um, Maintaining that it's supposed to be first company. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> this not, come on, man. That's not cool. <laughs> I I love the band vets in here because it feels very Blood Angels. I just don't let the Stern Guarders just... They do nothing. 
I, you know, Victor, I agree. I think we add some Terminators in here. We rock some Termies in here. So you get like 10 Terminators for the price of 30 Stern Guard? No. I mean... I mean, Sanguinary Priest can't join the Stern Guard, so that's three points. I know. Well, we, I mean, where, we, we where need is, a character in it anyways. Where's Carbulo going to go, Brad? Bro, he needs a unit to join. Jesus. Ken, what's the <laughs> what's Carbulo actually joined to? Because I actually have no idea. No, I'm, just, I'm saying what Kenny besides Stern Guard. Oh, uh, if I'd make an educated guess, Tactical Marines and Stern Guard. Those guys are not making it. <laughs> Tech Marines I, are. Because he's not Primaris, so I don't think he could join any of the other Primaris yeah, but units. Isn't it in his isn't it in his heart? Isn't he Primaris? I feel like he's in his heart. He's Primaris. He, I mean, he's about to go to Legends, so yeah, totally. These lists, these are not lists in Pittsburgh. <laughs> these are these are lists are in the DOG Discord under Brad. Fix my fucking list. Oh, Mike, you didn't even show up to see your list. You're the worst, Michael. So we gave it high praise. High praise. All right. Let me look up to see what he can actually join. Because I don't think he really joined yeah. anything. Tax Marines. Oh, he's throwing shade at my my jump assault jump assault intercessors. Make him plus one to wound and just throw, throw a bunch of hats at people. Hat. Alright, tax at people. I'm really not sure why I said hats. Apparently I'm doing some uh <laughs> What was Mike Myers? Uh, Austin Powers. I'm throwing hats at people. Why a hat? Or why a shoe? He did. <laughs> yeah, he did a shoe. You th- odd job did the hat. Odd job did the hat. I'm coming back to Carbulu, okay? This is Mavs Bananas. Two Blade Champs. Shield Camp. Shield Captain with the damage enhancement. Alaris Cap with the ignore cover. Four he, can t- actually, he can actually join way more than I thought he could, Brad. Oh, see, you're, you were setting me up for failure, bro. I'm I'm reading it now. So he could join Assault Intercessors, Assault Squads, which don't exist because they're legends, Devastator Squads, so you can have them attached to four grab cannons, a Stern Guard Squad, a Tactical Squad, which we could just pretend doesn't exist, and a Vanguard Veteran Squad, which is legends. We will do a bonus list at the end if we've got some time. We we spent a lot of time talking shit. <laughs> so, um, weirdly enough, I like this list for what it is. I would like to see double Alaris. Obviously, it's way more points, but the volume. Here's why, and this is going to be an, an everything uh, list as opposed to just this specific list. I think that the current meta is going to include a decent amount of horde. We already saw the green tide. Looks like it's going to be good. The crew detachment in Tau is legit, and other armies are looking are starting to pop out there you're just starting to see more and more horde you just have to be ready for it and i think that olaris do a fantastic job of that i mean that they're two two different guns the one's got blast they just have a shit ton of shots i, I really like those guys quite a bit uh, having two units of prosecutors is always good pew pew flame flame um are we missing units here no they're just super expensive so why are there Three characters that can only—I guess they go the custodians. They go the custodian guard. I mean, it's not like custodian guard are chumps. They're still they're freaking uh, bananas, bro. So is this, is this list for the new codex or is this list for the current? Codex? This is for the new codex. Okay. So damage enhancements legit. Uh, blade champs are still legit. I mean, Trajan got thrown in a blender. I would just like to see more Alaris in here, which means we actually lose a unit. Uh, do I want more trash? I probably want more sisters, to be honest with you, at that point in time. I mean, the Calidus, of course, is just good. Do I want two units of Alaris? Do you know this book very well? I feel like you. I feel like you're staring, like you pooped your pants at Denny's. <laughs> Shonies, Shonies. My bad. My bad. It's definitely Shonies. <laughs> No, I'm just. I, we don't know what the points are. Aren't aren't custodes more like shooty and more close combat oriented now than de- durable? Uh, a little bit, yeah. They. We we haven't seen everything about them. I mean, I I don't go on leaks. That's why. That, that's why I'm just trying to have. I'm having a hard time. Like, if we're assuming this is new codex, like if they're not as durable, this that doesn't seem good. 
Okay, all right, needs rhinos to work as the detachment, assuming you pick talents. Uh, he picked, give me one second. I have this up down here. Golden bananas. Ooh, do, do. He is, uh, it just says shield host. I think this is made with the old stuff. Uh, it was made with, it made on the, the, the app with it. We know what I mean. It made on the app, uh, using, using the new stuff with the old points. They didn't tell me the shield host. I, I mean, I still want double Laris. I kind of want more girls. I just don't know what you cut to have that. This I, doesn't see, this doesn't seem like that much. I mean, it's one, two, it's, three, it's four. Dude, that's 25 custodians you know what i mean not including characters that's a shit ton of customs how is it how are you getting that many oh it's four times five okay, four remember. times five i can't do math you can't do math <laughs> <laughs> I, I like eloise i found how to like the videos on my phone i'm proud of you uh i apologize for that i just i got so slammed from gw for talking about leaks before that i'm just i'm pretty goddamn gun shy after I got a, a stern rebuke a while back. So I can only talk about the stuff that's came out officially. Uh, they did show us quite a bit of stuff on the play. on the Because they did the, the battle report with orcs and custodes. So that's... I mean, I just... I want more Alaris, to be honest with you. I want more Alaris, I want more girls. I could lose a character and I could lose one custodian guard, get us another Alaris and basically two units of girls. And I don't actually care which girls we're taking, to be honest with you. I just want more. You know what I mean? To help out a little bit. <laughs> the golden wake. <laughs> but uh, I think that this just needs... I would like to see double, double Alaris and then go with double Alaris cap, uh, take one of the blade champs down, take one of the custodian guards down, get myself two girls and one more Alaris. Yeah, Alaris and girls and a rhino. Yep. So do you want like some two man squads of the Terminators? Yeah, I want two five man squads. Just dude, I just think that you're going to see a shit ton of armies that have a boatload of people. Just even think about non Tau or think about like even Matka Breacher Rush and stuff like that. Do you have enough shots to deal with that? If they just park the breachers in front of you, you know what I mean? Because they could just literally put a breacher an inch away from you know one point one away from you, and then thirty freaking uh, breachers just right behind it. Do you have enough guns if you don't take another unit of Alaris? I just don't know. I don't think the I answers... mean Alaris mm -hmm. aren't killing the unit of breachers. <laughs> you heard it here. Brad wants more girls. <laughs> uh, so. Um, yeah, I, I agree with KR in this. Alaris and girls and rhinos. That's really what I want. The, the, the buffs are nice and the, cause the, this is the ability. Well, we, we only know what's been released so far. So this correct. is where the, if the pestodes are within six inches of the sisters, they get buffs, right? Like plus one to hit. And, or and you put them in the rhino cause they count as, cause yeah. they're sisters, right? You know what I mean? So I think yeah. that, I think that you put, we do four units of girls with some rhinos two units of Alaris, and we fix the points. Uh, I don't know the final points on that. Uh, yeah, it's one PC share effort, plus one strength, and plus AP on Alaris grenade launchers, a thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, so like, we we definitely put two units of Alaris in here. Uh, we put a total of four units of girls, uh, and probably two rhinos. I think that's how we, we rock this, to be honest with you. And I, I, and I like that. Yeah, I mean, we'll see final points and everything. Uh, that should actually take out the breachers, KR. If you got two units of that, 100%. And it's because it's battle tech, because we can use it twice. So, but I, we need two caps at that point in time. So, I agree with that. That's just a shit ton of shots. That's a, that's a shit ton of shots to kill a 90 point unit. Yeah, but what else are you doing with your unit of that? Just let him stand there? No, you charge him. You're, I put freaking breachers in front of devil fish in front of you. I'm not insane. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Also, if you charge me, I'm using my my strat to backflip into my devil fish. I love that ability. It's so good. Yeah. So don't <laughs> listen to Brandon if you're listening to how to beat Tao. Because he wants you to be Brandon's like, hey, just play the mission. Because <laughs> breachers, 
because breachers aren't killing us. Yeah, I'm saying you're you're basically setting them up for failure against your Tau. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> do this, lured into Brandon's trap. <laughs> so, all right, we got Riley here with two prism and fade. We got a Wayleaper, Avatar, Big Baby B, Baharov, Farseer, Fugan, two fire prisms. Two times five Shadow Spectres, uh, three man unit of Shroud Runners, five Scorpions. Here I am. A 10 man unit of Swooping Hawks because Big Baby B gives Swooping Hawks the ability to shoot and scoot. And then the Swooping Hawks have built in, if nobody's around them at the end of your opponent's turn, you can bounce up into the air. And then he's got two times five Spiders, Arachnus Deathicus. Um, so can we acknowledge the fact that the previous slide had just an iceberg in it and that none of the other slides have that? No. Well, this one used to have orcs, and I don't remember where I put the space background that Sean used. <laughs> so I put in, and those were clouds and everything. Thank you very much. That was a soothing scene for the bananas. So why do we want a 10-man swooping hawk squad? He's trying to abuse the ability to shoot and scoot with Baharoth. So basically, you're getting a CP from the Wayleaper. You're doing it. You're there. You're getting a CP from the Wayleaper. The Avatar is getting minus one to wound from the Farseer. Uh, Fugan's doing Fugan stuff because he's just he gets back up on a two and he's melt a six with a strength fourteen gun, which is never bad. Uh, fire prisms are fire prisms. He's looking to do a lot of firing and fading, obviously. And uh, speaking of that, KR, yes. Sp spiders at uh, spider is from mega mind thank you very much <laughs> so watch the movie already brad is a big fan of mega mind uh, i am a, actually <laughs> i have to be honest with you <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're picking up what i'm putting down so are scorpions by themselves worth it uh without 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 what's his name without with, without with uh big daddy k i don't know they're they're decent in killing stuff, but like without Karandras, they don't really pick up anything legit. So I've been back and forth about that. I'd like to have Fear the Spi Dare. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he is bringing it to a GT. You're about to get tabled by a freaking Revenant Titan, bro. But no one is getting tabled by that. What, what GT? I'm so confident that Mike can't table anybody with that that I'll call him out round one if I play at that GT. You know, that's hurtful talk. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really like what you're doing here. So, in this, I'm not sure about the Scorps. I've I've never been a huge Shroud Runner guy. Fire Prisms are wildly expensive now. Yeah, because they're, what, uh, two-something now? 210? They're, they're uh, 180, 190. I can't remember on top of my head. The Warwalkers went 10. Uh, Spiders are amazing. Uh, the Hawking... I've played with Baharoth and the Swooping Hawks. It is nice because the all the Hawks have lethal hits. Mm -hmm. So it is nice to just jump out. You're, you're hitting on twos because of the fact that any of the Phoenix Lords adds plus one to hit for any of the attacks from their particular uh, Aspect Warriors. <clears throat> It might table that first company list. <laughs> uh, Salt GC in St. Louis. Nice. Um, I love the Shadow Spectres. I love the Spiders. You know what I mean? This list has a lot of play. So it's just, do you want Rangers, maybe, instead of the Scorpions? I mean, it's not really saving me that many points to get anything. You know what I mean? The Scorpions uh, forward deploy and can fight their way out of a paper bag. You know what I mean? They can beat up a stealth suit team. They can beat up other Rangers. They will beat the shit out of Mandrakes and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got to figure that you've got a claw on the, the Exarch, and he will pick up some Marines and shit. So what if the two Prisms became three D cannons? Uh, I think Riley really wants to be able to extend with the fire prisms and then you then spam fire and fade. That's kind of like the, the mojo of it. I say exactly. Mike, you go have to change the list name. So he's like focused around basically uh, doing linked fire, you know, and then fire and fading the prism back each turn. So it, it, this list is kind of based around bouncing. So he's got 
Baharoth with the Hawks bouncing. He's got the Spectres bouncing. He's got the Prism bouncing back, and he's using the Wayleaper to get the extra CP each turn to be able to do it. And then you've got the ability to, of course, Phantasm. It's only a D6 now, The one of the units of Speeders. So it becomes, are the Scorpions in one Warwalker? Could they be something else? Yeah, I mean... Because everything else is either required for what he's trying to do in this list, or it's the most efficient thing in its in couldn't its you slot. Just take, <clears throat> couldn't you just take another unit of Shadow Spectres and another unit of Spiders instead of the Scorpions of Warwalker? Oh, that's actually what I'm kind of thinking of, to be honest with you. I, I think it's like an even trade. Uh, the Scorps are 85 or 80. The Warwalkers 110. Uh... The Spectres are 80. Way too easy to do with just three. You gotta go three prisms. It's hard to get three prisms in anymore, brother. It's they're just super expensive. A, a true story, KR does have a point. New score models are too cool to not have. So they are pretty boss mode. I'm gonna actually keep the scorps in because I do want a four deployer. Uh what if you take the Warwalker and make it Carandrus? Well, I still the problem is is that makes me minus one unit because Carandrus then goes with the Scorps. Yeah, you know I mean, and the problem with that is is that he has no other four deployers, so the Scorps occasionally just take it to the face to stop scouts and other people from four deploying. Our sh shroud runners are four deployer. <laughs> they they scout. infiltrate and scout. They infiltrate and scout. Eh. I mean, I don't, giant, I don't hate it. Giant sixty millimeter bases. Like, True, they do. Their bases are ridiculous. <clears throat> Like, I would throw that unit away all the time, every time. Uh, yo, yo. Dago in the house. I'm just debating whether... I'd like to have another unit of Spectres in. But we, we basically have an odd point. Like, if I lose the Warwalker, then I have, like, a, a weird amount of points left. Does he have any enhancements that would be worthwhile? Uh, he. I think he just has Phoenix Jump. Let me, let me check again. Do, 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 do. Uh, and the th Phoenix, the Phoenix gem is stand back up on a two plus. Uh oh, what's that? It's stand back up on a two plus. Yeah. So give me two seconds to scroll back up. He has nothing, nothing, nothing. Yep, Phoenix gem. It's twenty five points. I don't. To be honest with you, like my Autark, the Wayleaper, hasn't been killed or shot. <laughs> in in forever <clears throat> so i mean if you just kill all the trash you know it's it's fine i love the fates me the death jester with fates messenger that guy's amazing he just does so much work that's one thing that i would probably put in my my list right now if i went back and changed it because i'm playing an all lance list right now <clears throat> shot runners are nice uh they do get you know, two up saves and shit. So the only thing is, is that I don't even know if you need Phoenix Shep on the Way Leaper unless you're playing like hardcore. <clears throat> he been Brandon better like the Death Jester. He made me buy one. Um, that's not a Death Jester. That's Mog and Raw. <laughs> I mean, and I do like Mog and Raw. It's an awesome model. He is like, awesome. It's, and it's I, such a cool looking model. And to be honest, I would just play him as the Dark Reaper XR because <laughs> he's not good anymore. <clears throat> Uh, I want the Warwalker and something else to be. I mean, literally, if we dropped. Uh, oh, we do have a Death Jester. I was just thinking about it. We bought one in a blister pack. Oh, he's boss mode. I like the Death Jester. Like, he could pick out characters. He's pretty much getting an auto dying hits with his gun. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. On this, I, I kind of wish that I, I can see the Warwalker just being more Shadow Spectres take off the, the Phoenix Gem, and we would have enough points for another squad. So I think I'll probably do that. You just have to play less aggressive with a way leaper because you want a Phoenix, but like just have him on your home field objective. He's low up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> just don't get him shot. Uh, Warwalkers being units of three would be insane. I would just bring three units of three. <laughs> so he looks amazing. You know what we're gonna do before we go into my into my i love eloise's spelling it, it cracks me up nah, I, i'm good on it too <laughs> uh, all i'm saying is the, the person that that won today's 
what the shit is happening is, <clears throat> excuse me, is Lord Amnesia that literally threw down not one, but two first company lists. <laughs> and I'm just going to let you just soak these in, Brandon. I'm ready. So we've got Termi Camp, Ancient and Termi Cap, Blade Guard Ancient, two times six Blade Guard, five Scouts, five Infos, ten Assault Termis, two Land Raider Redeemers, and a Whirlwind. The other list is Hellbreak, Termi Cap, Judge Judy, Ancient, ten man and a five man Sword Brethren, five Infiltrators, five Scouts, a Whirlwind, and two Black Templar Impulsors. There, there are too many units that don't belong in the first company list, like the Whirlwind. And the infiltrators and the scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Those are too good for this list. <laughs> I also cheated him out of completely out of a land raider in here. So I'm gonna put that right here. <laughs> Nothing to see here, everyone. Uh I keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you. Ah, screw your face. <laughs> These are very thematic lists. Yes. Yep. I love Double Redeemer, by the way. Did I just screw him out of 10 Assault Terminators, too? Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing to see here. To totally because of the power outage, right, Brad? I mean, I did have to. This is the one I was working on when the power went out, though. But this is uh -huh, uh -huh. slightly my fault. It's not completely my fault. It's partially my fault. Land Raider Redeemer has. As a first company list, this first list makes me happy. <laughs> it's it's not the worst. I mean, you put the Blade Guard in and you punch people. Could I just have aggressors, though, instead of Blade Guard? Well, uh, they don't, aggressors don't benefit from any of the strats. I know, but... Do Blade Guard even benefit from any of the strats? I have to look again. I really want it just to be, like, can Hellbreak join Termies? No. He only does Sword Brethren and Crusaders and stuff, right? Yeah. Ugh. I between want... the th between the three first company lists, I think the one with the Blade Guard and the Terminators is the best. However, it can't kill tanks at all. Yeah, it can. You're just like... going to roll sixes on your Thunderhammers. Devastating wounds, yo. That is a terrible strategy for two mortal wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wreck that thing. Bong. You're gonna see a riptide. And it's gonna be like, oh man, can't uh, do anything about uh, this. Eloise, your an the answer to your question of so could first company be even remotely good? The answer is wildly no. It is the worst attachment in, in the, the game. game. It's not even close. We were talking about that, and they voted in it one, and then we were like, yeah, this is horrific. It's just bad. Exactly. Just roll sixes. That's how you win with anything. <laughs> Mike laughs in <laughs> Revenant Titan. The Revenant Titan would table that list. Actually, both these lists. In, in like a second, to be honest with you. All right. I have to go to my, my wall now. It, they they both kill Custodes. I could see that. This would be really good to Custodes because they don't fight first anymore. <laughs> yeah, yes, it would. I mean, actually, pretty boss mode into that. You know, if someone took this list to the Adepticon team tournament, it would score maximum theme points. <laughs> I mean, it kind of would. Oh, Mike's got a Drakari list for you. Mike, I'm, I'm actually going to review your list for real. Uh, I, I want to hear about the Sisters of Silence attachment. I know we can't talk about it. We haven't it yet, seen it, yo. But I, I want to know more. All right. Are you ready for an Iron Hands? An Iron Storm Spearhead list from Ooh, ooh Mr. Josh Howard. Okay. Double... I, was, I was wondering if it was going to be Mike's triple Astraeus list. So, double Tech Marine. One's got the Augury Web, the other one's got Master of Machine Spirit. Two units of Assault Intercessors with Jump Packs, one Lancer. Two Inceptor Squads, one Infiltrator, Triple Redemptor Dreadnought, a Repulsor Executioner, Double Scouts, and a Storm Speeder Thunderstrike. I feel like this just wants to be the Double Storm Raven list. <coughs> no, seriously, I, I 100%. This feels like it should be. 
Uh, Storm Raven shoots so much more than the Reposter Executioner does. And it moves 20. It, it might be a model availability issue. I mean, I'll just hand in two Storm Ravens. I, I keep offering these the six in my basement to everyone, and no <laughs> one takes me up on it. I bring one this weekend. I'll take it off your hands. No, because you won't use it. I will use it. No, as, as, a, as a piece of fucking terrain, you <laughs> dick. I wanna, my models need to be played with, inappropriately touched by Uncle Weirdo. It will be played with on the gaming table, enjoyed by all armies. Oh, shit. <laughs> A playmaker sent me a, a something that I can't read on, on on stream, but I'm excited to look at it. Just saw pictures on Discord. Ah, God damn it! Again, I cannot put out leaks on our streams, otherwise I will get headlocked by GW. No, it... I'm definitely not reading that, Mike. <laughs> yes, I'll get RKO'd out of nowhere by uh, GW, <laughs> and I no, I don't no. need that happening. I'm going to give you a little Zoolander. <laughs> Magnum. I'll, I'll even give you the no, no, no. Yes, there is now a Sisters of Silence attachment. And a crew detachment. Release, and a crew detachment. And I'm still calling out Mike Henderson because I want to do Sisters on Silence versus Pure Crew. Josh, if you want to run the Storm Raven version of this, I will bring some Storm Ravens for you to use. Oh, dude, 100%. Eloise, is, this is top comment of the day, everyone. Eloise, <laughs> this edition is Brad's wet dream of trash pandas ruling the world. Yes, there's going to be so much garbage. But dude, the Executioner, like, Storm Ravens laugh at your number of shots. Yes, the Repulsor Executioner does have a lot of shots, but it's so easy to play around because it's a big, fat box of slow. The Storm Raven still you you put it in hover, it moves twenty, and it uses all it abuses all of the bullshit of flyers because it can shoot off any part of its stupid wings or its nose that goes six inches off the front of it. Uh, it's just ridiculous. He kills Storm Ravens on turn one. Uh, no, because they'll hide because they are hovering vehicles. You're not. They're so big, bro. You just need the proper plane friendly terrain oh okay. don't be so, a hater i am not being a hater i'm being realistic but doesn't the uh, revenant titan move like 900 inches oh the revenant yeah he'll still probably kill the revenant all right the revenant <laughs> still probably kill the revenant just hauls ass <laughs> pile of shape <laughs> well tell you what why don't you trade brad for your ones that aren't built yet for ones that are built what would like, i do with them? give them the snigs yeah Range 200 guns. It doesn't matter if you can't see them, Mike. Uh, KR, again, I will send you some Storm Ravens. Actually, I want people to grab them from me. You and I haven't had a drink. I want, I want, I will, for a drink, I will hand you a Storm Raven. I have to go find them. They're literally in the basement. I, I have a bottle of malt back that I will trade for you, Storm Raven, Brad. You, no, you will not because you will destroy my Storm <laughs> Raven. You are evil. You are what an if, evil, evil man that will if, crush if, my Ravens. What if I don't turn into a piece of terrain I and I paint it don't and convert believe. it as Legion of the Damned? Okay, you can have a start. <laughs> like, do green stuff sculpt on the wings and the bones and all sorts of stuff. And then, uh, as usual, like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps. Both channels, right? Because we're, we're streaming on both. Stillfrostygaming.org.com.gov And <laughs> I hope you have all of those, by the way. And, I, of course... I do not. <laughs> Death of Glory, uh, it really helps our stuff out. Please leave a comment. Uh, only a happy comment. My my soul gets hurt if you make fun of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. This is the game. I, this is the match that people want to see. The Playmaker versus KR. Revenant versus Ares Gunship. That's what people want to see. <laughs> That's, you know what? It can the Revenant Titan kill a Tau Manta in one shooting activation? I, mean, I have no idea what it does. I just know it's a big bottle. It's not as big as the freaking Manta. Yeah, Justin Cook has one. He's like, I, I'm going to put this on the table at some point in time in the future. I mean, he, that's all he gets to put. It is 2,000 points. <laughs> it's more than 2,000 points. 
Do you know that they could transport 200 infantry? Yeah. And it can also do like six uh, devilfish and uh, heavies. So I think it's eight units of battle suits and four either devilfish or tanks. Yeah. And when you buy the damn thing, it actually comes with crisis suits and tanks. It's insane. I kind of like everything about this. So on that note, we <laughs> all right. So that now that we've got the first company stuff out of the way, let's get. We'll, we're going to do some rocks and realists. I've already got two that I held over, and then I'm going to show on next week. And I'm going to the team event this week, so we're going to see if we can get some good options for this on that. And I am looking for some more Tau Mojo on this. We talked a lot about what our favorites are, and we came up with. We like all of them, <laughs> so we really narrowed it down. I the big thing with Tau is we don't know the points, and we won't know probably till May. True. How much is an Aries? How much is an Aries gunship? By the way, I love all these models that I've never used. <laughs> these these are mythical magical units that I don't think actually exist, but people keep saying they do. Revenant Titans, Aries gunships. I mean, All right, let's see. I played against one. I pee pooed it. I have three. Why do you have three remnants? <laughs> I, I think Mike. So like people are like, man, I need quick cash. And Mike's like, you know, I can provide you a quick cash. Just give me your most ridiculous Warhammer 40k model. He's like a check cashing place. <laughs> <laughs> he, he 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 cashes your check. He he buys your gold and silver, <laughs> and he buys your large models. <laughs> All right, Mike. I I need photo confirmation of this. I need a picture of your three Astraeus, your two Revenant Titans, and whatever large ridiculous models you own. All in one picture. We'll put it up. I, I will. I will literally put it on stream. I'll put it on tonight. If you give me that picture, so. With that being said, let's Queens wave our way out of here, my man. I appreciate it. What time are you getting in tomorrow? You have no idea yet. I have absolutely no idea. My ride now is not going to the tournament, so I got to figure <laughs> out. I assume Lyle's picking me up now, so. You should probably uh, figure that out. Well. it's tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't know he wasn't coming until uh, two hours ago, so. <laughs> well, I'll maybe see you tomorrow. <sighs> and if you lose the tournament, you're playing first company. Oh, on that, like and subscribe. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs>